the second episode of a complete Figma guide for any UX UI designer. In this second episode, I will show you how to enter Figma, what Figma is all about, and how to create your first Figma account. But before we jump into the new Figma offering, we will also check what was actually Figma's initial offering and how it has changed after April 2021. So many of us who had been an ardent fan of Figma, who has been using Figma and Adobe XD for quite some time and quite like this platform because it is exceptionally easy to use, it is online, on the cloud and it is the collaboration part was absolutely free but there is a twist in the entire tale Figma from April 2021 has changed certain restriction or some certain permissions for free user for the starter uh, plan hence the entire ball game of collaboration has absolutely changed. So if you first see the old Figma interface, it starts, it used to start with where teams design together. So their entire site promise was very clear that it is a collaborative platform. And that's the reason thousands of user interface designer or UX practitioners used to come to Figma and use Figma to their fullest because it was collaborative, easy and absolutely free. Now let us see what is the offering of our new Figma platform. Let us type over here figma.com and press enter so we see that it clearly tells minds meeting minds is how great ideas meet the world they are right now concentrating more on idea sharing where like-minded people meet but very subtly they have moved away from the collaborative approach from the free collaborations of designs across team in a very subtle way but at the same time if you see at the top they have introduced fig jam which is brand new whiteboards for teams to share and explore their ideas together wonderful because in today's world when we are talking about design thinking we are moving away moving much more ahead in the curves from user experience to the design thinking process we definitely require more ideas to collaborate more ideas to share so if you just scroll down a bit the interface the home page remains as it is this is the same as they had the previous version as well but if you see they have introduced this fantastic thing called the fig jam beta where next good idea can come from anyone yes absolutely uh, in today's world ideas can come from anyone at any point of time irrespective of where they are and at what position in the organization they are in let the ideas come uh, flowing and idea and yes and yes and yes and and yes so let all the come all the ideas come into the idea bucket so this is how you can actually collaborate to share your ideas there's a huge uh, whiteboard that has been given where you can actually click and create your own ideas so if you if you just check Fig Champs new page, you see an online whiteboard for teams to ideate and brainstorm together. The best part of the user interface is that 
you can actually uh, write scribble on this thing so i can just write over here this is uh and that's idea so this is how the entire team across the globe can actually share their ideas and make ideas come life okay so this is a wonderful thing that i think is very important in today's world so though figma has moved a little bit away from their absolutely free collaboration tool but isn't it always in the card we always knew that at one point of time when we all uh, user experience people will flock around figma they will definitely make it uh, a paid platform so that is that is how every big uh, companies work so let us now check the pricing tag of the thing so the starter pack is which is absolutely free forever there are unlimited unlimited files in the drafts that you can uh, still do there can be unlimited viewers and commenters you have unlimited editions to only 3 team files and you can collaborate only one team project so once you are through with the drafts you can only push one team project to share across teams so be careful in this particular uh, uh, space uh, it is not absolutely free to start with and obviously there is 30 days version history is there unlimited cloud storage th those things are not changing let us uh, go a little bit deeper and compare the features uh, in the starter free pack what is there in the professional pack and what is in the organization pack i think even in the professional pack if you are a very small scale uh, uh, organization a 12 dollar per editor per month build annually uh, is not at all a bad plan and if you are going for monthly plan it is 15 dollar per editor so if you see the version histories are all common the figma editor is always on advanced drawing tool is there in all the plans auto layout everything is there across all the platforms only where it is changing it is changing in the private projects in the starter plan you cannot have private projects prototype sharing permission is not there in the starter plan but you can create prototypes definitely centralized teams is not there in the starter plan and team libraries are not there organization wide design system is not there you cannot have shared fonts uh, design system analytics is not there it is only available all these uh, plans are only available in the organization system and i think when an uh, in an bigger organization level where you actually give value to ux and ui you should definitely don't hesitate to create an organization plan which is also not too high it is 45 dollar uh, per editor per month built annually yeah all this uh, developer platform you have the rest apis in all the plans third party integration is there live embed is possible private plugins is only available in the organization plan well uh, the security features where uh, figma lacks a bit is in the starter and professional plan it is absolutely not there it is only available in the organization uh, plan so uh, pretty much things are um, well uh, it is always there we can just now go and try to create a sign up if you are not signed up so it is very simple you just click on the button and you can sign up from here you can sign up with your google account or your corporate account over here so currently i have a corporate account um, we are using for some uh, specific things uh, so uh, i will not share the detail over here and we can directly go and log in so what you get after login will cover in the next episode till then goodbye but before you 
go and watch our next episode kindly like share and comment on this video and if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all my notifications of our upcoming updates goodbye and god bless